Tonight is July the 8th, 2016. And uh, while this may look like quite a surprise for my Acrosound series of videos I've been posting, I think you're going to like it. These are some uh, very nice Tungsol made in Russia. KT66s I got in today. They're beautiful, aren't they? I have most lovingly gone through and selected each 12, or excuse me, 6SN7. And of course, the uh, glaring thing here is the transformer. My purpose in making this video was 90% to find out just how good these little Acrosound transformers are. They are held in very high esteem as I believe I've said exactly in one of my videos and I hold them in high esteem. But I just wanted to know just how good they were built into a uh, circuit that Acrosound actually designed. So that's what I did. And um, well <laughs> This transformer right here is the one that was over there. And this one just has anomaly. No, no, not that. It's this one. This one just has anomalies in it that I just can't get out. I said it's got parasitic issues. Now, I happen to have two of these. Of course, I could have put a different one in there, but my purpose was to find out just how good these are. They're actually quite good. But since when this one I just couldn't make work right no matter what I did and of course I swapped all the tubes around the best in the one channel at a time. I, I don't think I left a single stone unturned and uh, all of the suggestions that you gentlemen have given me are fabulous. I, I appreciate it. Appreciate it so much. Very very good ideas and I've tried them I tried a bunch of them. One of the things I wanted to do was modify it the least amount possible. What I had to do, ended up doing to both circuits is putting a 500 picofarad, I'll show you underneath it later, 500 picofarad uh, capacitor between the plate and the screen of one of the tubes. It has to be the specific tube. I believe it's this one and this one because the way that they're wired is, is backwards. They're a mirror image of each other. This is in and driver, in and driver. But anyhow, so I think what I did in a roundabout way was prove exactly what I wanted to prove. And I'm going to show you some real time here. Then I'll show you to keep from the video being too long. I'm going to make it real short tonight. I'll show you some data I collected earlier. Okay, for one thing, the circuit with uh, the Acrosome transformer it has slightly higher gain. Uh, right now, I'm looking at uh, the right channel. This is left, and this is right. And if you look at this, this is left, and this is right. Of course, when you look at the back of it, it's backwards. This is left, and that's right. But I would have had to run the wires from here over to there, and there over to here, which I didn't want to do. Anyway, right now we're looking at the right channel. Um, let, I don't actually have it set up. I got to put this thing on a tripod and uh, and set it up. Be right back. Okay, we're set up. Our input voltage is 120. I want to regulate that so that we we know that it's always the same in case it changes. What I'm going to do is plug it into the left channel. I've got them both very, I've got them exactly tweaked to where I get the exactly the same amount of power out from both. I'm going to plug it into the left channel and then the right channel. Switch the dummy load up top. If you've seen any of my videos, well, let me, for those that, have, that haven't seen them, I have, a, I have two dummy loads right up there. They're uh, 8 ohm, 1%. They're, they're smack on 8 ohms both of them so that's what it's uh that's what it's running into from these two wires right here these these are what goes up to that dummy load 
So I'm going to put it into one channel and then the other. And I'll be switching it from one load to the other. And we'll be looking at... Well, let's just let's just focus right here. The THD is 1%. And we'll look at the power. Well, actually, I want you to... This is, this is where you'll see the power. And then we'll just look at the oscilloscope load here. Okay. First one will be the left channel. One kilohertz. It's running 26 watts. Uh... I'm doing it right before clipping. You can see that this looks, that's okay. You know, that's the error signal. 26 watts at just below uh, 1%. Uh, both of those numbers there, those 0.9, they're both reading the same thing. One, the top one's the HP8903, the bottom one's the uh, Tektronix A501. They, they give me the same numbers. That's just below 1%. Power's dropped ever so slightly to 25.96 okay making it quick here let's just unplug that one from there plug it into the right channel and switch loads and we get 25.93 and this one's reading 1 1.1 1, so ever so slightly higher in this case no parasitics or any any of those strange anomalies that uh, you've seen me fight here over the last uh, several videos. Essentially exactly the same power. This one actually has slightly higher THD. Sometimes it seems to have slightly lower. I'm a little puzzled by it right now, but I can only report the data. I don't want to skew it in any way. That's what it, that's what it is. Maximum power. So, what I have here is uh, is a whoops. There you high voltage. <laughs> what I have here is one Jim Dandy 50 watt amp, and I'm actually very pleased with it. Now, in this case, which is not always the case, sometimes it's the other way around, and I act actually expected it to be the other way around. I expected the right channel to be ever so slightly better than the left channel. In this case, the left channel is ever so slightly better than the right. Well, it is what it is. Now, let me show you over here some data I collected earlier. This one is called... Um, I'm going to have to take this thing off. Or it's just going to be too hard to deal with. These, these are some plots... should be able to see this. The title of this one is Left Channel Yellow. This is the yellow. Left Channel Yellow Acrosound. Right Channel is the blue, which is the James Transformer. So in this case, the uh, the James Transformer is slightly better. They both end up about the same out there. They both start out essentially the same here. See, the blue one started out a little peak higher. You can run these things ten times in a row and you won't get exactly the same thing every time. That's just the way life is. So in this case, it looks like the, um, the James is ever so slightly better than the Acrosound, but not enough to sneeze at, okay? This is the Acrosound, the yellow line. The blue line is the uh, James. Okay, now let's close that one and open the other one. And in this case, I, I switched the colors because it just depends on which one I trace first. This one says blue, Acrosound, yellow, James. In this case, it's blue is the Acrosound and the yellow is uh, the James. So in this case the James actually worked out ever so slightly better again. 
So what does all this mean? It means to me that it doesn't make much of a hoot which one you use. It looks like these little modern day transformers and I'm not selling James transformers and I'm not selling Acrosound transformers. I've had I've been around Acrosound transformers all my life since I was a kid and I've always thought that they were uh, top-notch and I think they still are but it looks like um, that the modern day ones are just as good and in these two cases they're actually slightly better um, so there you go now I wish I had saved some uh, traces from that bad transformer and all of its uh, parasitics and anomalies but I did not and I'm not going to put it back in what I'm actually going to do is take this one out and put the other one like this in there because even though this moment is not what I've been experiencing most of the day the these these um, perform ever so slightly better they seem to be a little bit less likely to parasitic so one that I had in here has got a problem I'm going to be uh, examining it with uh, every way I possibly can I'm not exactly sure I'm going to approach it. But let me say this too. These, uh, the quality of these 6S N7s is extremely important. I've got a bucket full of them and I had to go through very carefully and hand select each one and then try them. And it turns out pretty darn good. So back to the 25 watts per channel. That's really all I expected. Uh, in one of the earlier videos I was getting 30 watts but that's when I only had one channel and you know it's been loaded a little bit more my plate voltage has dropped ever so slightly and there it is this is pretty much all I've got to say about them I think this will be the uh, the final video on I think it's beautiful I'm, I'm really pleased with it and it sounds marvelous just just sounds very good I mentioned uh, in my in one of the other videos that it seems like um, the right channel had kind of a, a high frequency lisp to it you know a, a whiskey sound whisking sound I don't know it's hard to find the exact word but it seems like the uh, some of the highs were a little bit over accentuated and I think it very possibly may have been those uh, parasitics that popped in and out of there at uh, at will. So there you go. Thanks guys for watching and the, and the dozens of outstanding suggestions you gave me to uh, try to solve this thing. Like I say, I, I wanted to solve it uh, with uh, the least amount of uh, change to the circuit and the there is no change to this circuit shy of, uh, let me see if I can find this, I'm never, I'm never 100% prepared to show you guys what I want to show you, but here's the schematic right here, for what I ended up doing, I don't remember if it was this one or this one, I think it was this one, I ended up putting a 500 picofarad capacitor on both of these, with both the Acrosound transformer and the uh, James transformer right here a capacitor right there 500 picofarads that is the only modification to the circuit not true the other modification to the circuit is I took all of this nonsense out right here this is connected uh, straight to the input through a pot so what I do is I come in I go this and I made it a 10k pot and this goes straight in just like that no capacitor those capacitors cause problems I've had that uh, experience that years ago on different amplifiers even the little Macintosh amplifier channel that, that MA230 channel that I built you, you got to be really careful with these guys right here the, the, this matters and the way that I ended up solving it is don't put a 1 meg or a 500k. You might try 100k or uh, somewhere between 100k and a 10k. 
That's my suggestion. That's what I've learned from experience. And that stabilizes it. Uh, I had a good gentleman suggest putting like a, a ferrite bead here. I think that could help. I don't have any. I thought I had some, but all I have is some great big monster things that you can run number 10 wire through, you know. So that's the input circuit, just straight in. And uh, then that capacitor right there. Yeah, th that is the only change. All right. No, I changed that too. I changed that from a 5.6K to a 6.8K and 120 picofarad to a uh, 450 picofarad. Oh yeah, that's just for the Acrosound channel. The other one was a um, 3.9K and a, I don't remember. I'll have to flip it over and we'll look at it. Okay, here it is. So I actually ended up making three changes. 3.9K right there and 270 picofarad. I did that by uh, you know, doing it experimentally. See, there's the James transformer right there. The Acrosound is over here. Here's that 500 picofarad right there. Got the same one over here. And there's the direct input. So it goes straight from the uh, RCA connector to one side of the pot. The other side of the pot's grounded and it goes off. This is a shielded wire over to this side. And this is a direct wire to this side. So those are the three changes that I made. But I tried to be as true to the circuit as I could to do the best I could to evaluate the transformer in the circuit designed by the people that designed the transformer. All that makes sense. So there you go. Good transformers. Um, you know, some of the high power ones, the ones made for the 6146s and the 6550s, they go for, wow, quite a price. I'm not sure I would pay that, but that's just me. There are other transformers out there. You got to be careful with some of this stuff 50, 60 years old, you know? Like I say, this one has this one has a, an anomaly in it. And if I can find and measure anything and compare it to one that I know works, which is obviously the one that's in it, I'll compare it to that one. I'll make a video of it and show you what uh, I have found that I believe is the problem. All right. Thanks for watching. Got to get some air conditioning on here. This is El Paso. It's hotter than hell here.